and welcome to your gold market update charts of the day for today friday the 28th of april 2023 mike smith senior analyst of gold markets here to lead you around what's happening today strong session on wall street overnight with all major indices higher on the back of continued good earnings and gold deluxe data we had that gdp and jobs data out yesterday down s p 500 are both closing in on bull market territory obviously the nasdaq is there already and we had big tech positive earnings again after the bell with Amazon beating expectations up around 10% in after hours trading. We've got key inflation data tonight, which is important. And US futures are possibly cautious because of that and they are near neutral in Asia. But Asian markets are generally following that strong US lead. ASX trading around 0.5% higher. European markets also pointing to a higher open. And the VIX has pulled back again on that equity strength. US dollar index is trading near neutral and just above support. Gold's pause below 2,000 and copper has bounced off support looking strong so far today. Oil is near neutral after the previous day's drop we saw, which pushed it through support. Bitcoin is choppy and testing resistance and a big day on the data front as well as US earnings continuing. We've already had Japanese inflation number warmer than expected whereas in australia our ppi was less than expected that's good for markets may well help the rba pause we've got the boj policy meeting with the new governor in place and his press conference will be interesting and of course the headline act is that year on your us pce data out tonight on top of that we've got german cpi gdp and jobs yen eurozone gdp all of which are going to impact on the euro significantly and U.S. Chicago PMI inflation expectations and consumer sentiment also out of the U.S. tonight. So a really busy session on the data front. Let's look at a couple of charts that caught our eye. Uh, well, like in the bounce in ASM, we've seen a little bit of strength in the material sector after a really ordinary week. But you see there, there's a line at around about 121 that could be of interest. So there's a couple of ways we can play this. We've definitely got a V-shaped bounce. So even up to that level, there is the potential for a 7 or 8% move. Additionally, of course, if we do breach that level, we could see ourselves back around 136. So one to watch. For those of you who are highly risk averse, then perhaps wait until that 121. But as we said, there may be an opportunity today to take advantage of that move up to 120. On the FX front, we are looking at the GB pound yen. Uh, you can see there we've pushed back up against resistance. Even to the, in today's session, we're having another pop at it. If we look at a shorter time frame, you can see on the hourly chart, we've been in uptrend over the last couple of days, which has taken us back up to 167.50. 168 looks as though it might be a possibility, but just be aware that we have got that BLJ press conference a little later today. So it may well be worth just hanging on until after that to see where we go next you can see why that 168 is on our radar this was resistance about five days ago and the previous week so we feel it could get stuck there unless there's a significant change in japanese monetary policy which we don't actually see so maybe a possibility in the short term but be patient again as always for the setup trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now